Hi Aquarius, this is your September 30th through October 6th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at new love venture in your life. The second spread is for those of you who are already in a relationship or married. Spread number three will be love from the past. Um, in the fourth spread, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And uh, the fifth, the final spread will be what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is a new love this week, um, Aquarius. We have uh, the uh, Six of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Wands. We have the Star. We have the Ace of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Queen of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. And we also have the World on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing um, with a Fire Sign, maybe. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or uh, any Zodiac sign. Absolutely any Zodiac sign. Um, I got a little bit concerned when I saw that Knight of Wands, but I think it's and the Ace of Wands, right? But uh, I think it's all good. <laughs> I think it's all good. I was questioning this person's motive. I was questioning this person's reason, but um, I think it's all good. All right. So here's what's going on. For some of you, maybe this is like a second chance. Maybe they um, missed an opportunity with you. And uh, now they want to make sure it actually happens. I don't know why they could have missed an opportunity with you. Uh, but that's just one of the scenarios. For others of you, if it's a brand new person entering your life, I wouldn't be surprised if this person is traveling to see you. If this person is literally coming over from a, from a distance. And by distance, I mean they could be traveling for five hours. They're getting on a plane and traveling to see you. Or they could be traveling for 30 minutes driving. I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if this person has to travel to get to you. Like, take the effort, make the effort, and travel to see you. If they're close to you, <laughs> then uh, this person um, is getting, like, super, super excited. They're, st they're getting super excited anyway to move forward with you. All right, uh, the Six of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Wands. The Six of Swords, again, could be a card of literally traveling, literally going. Or maybe this person is leaving something or someone behind, so they could uh, get the show on the road with you. Maybe, and not necessarily another love interest. They could be leaving another love interest behind, but not necessarily. Perhaps this person this week is making like a final decision to move, to relocate, to move forward with you, to come in and conquer you. <laughs> right? The Knight of Wands, clarifying the Six of Swords. Yeah, it could be a fire sign. Uh, maybe a younger fire sign for some of you. Right? Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But uh, the Knight of Wands is the most passionate, uh, most fiery uh, night out of all for nights. And we also have that Ace of Wands kind of in the middle right there. That Ace of Wands belongs to the Knight of Wands, right? It's the same energy. You see how the Knight of Wands is holding up a wand? That's exactly the one we're looking at in the Ace of Wands. Fire, more fire energy. So this person is getting super excited to, to get this moving forward. Um, and um, without the, the Ace of Cups came out after that Knight of Wands. Because the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands is mostly... It could be interpreted as uh, like a lot of physical attraction, right? And I'm sure there is a lot of physical attraction, but it, it's not the only reason. It's not the only reason, right? Because uh, the Ace of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Cups. One Ace clarified by another. By the way, we actually have three Aces on the table. That barely ever happens, even in my readings, when three Aces show up in the, in the same spread. Right, so the, the Ace of Cups uh, is all about love, true, genuine, authentic love. The star, we skipped the star, we skipped the star because it's you, <laughs> Aquarius. Unless you're dealing with another Aquarius, or if we forget for a second that uh, it's one of your major iconic cards, uh, Aquarius, then the star is a card of a wish come true. Something people usually wish for and hope for a very long time. Perhaps that's the, this person's perception of you. Right, that you are their wish come true. Perhaps they looked for you their entire life, and now they have finally found you, and that's why they're getting so super excited. So even in, a little bit impatient. All right, the world on the bottom of the deck. Um, this card could be interpreted as a someplace remote. So for some of you, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if this person has to travel to see you. For others of you, the world is a card of an ending, a happy end card. Perhaps this person is leaving something and something be or someone behind. They're ending that and now they're able to move forward with you. 
right? The, the world could also be a happy end for the two of you, right? The one chapter of your life coming to an end and a much better, much happier chapter of both of your life is about, lives is about to begin. In the potential outcome, Aquarius, we have uh, that uh, Queen of Swords uh, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. The Queen of Swords, that's most likely you. <laughs> so you could be in this reading twice. The Star could be you. The Queen of Swords could be you. All right. And uh, the Ace of Pentacles is that third Ace. The Ace of Pentacles is all about the long term. This Ace could be interpreted as a marriage proposal card. It's a card of uh, somebody who is ready to get serious, right? Okay. And uh, at the end, we have the Two of Cups. Right next to the deck, the Two of Cups. As you can see, we have two people in the Two of Cups. And uh, it is a card of a soulmate connection, and it's a card of uh, when two people are on the same page. So yeah, very interesting, very dynamic reading Aquarius. If you're into dynamic stuff, yeah, <laughs> and I'm sure you are, then this is definitely somebody who is uh, going to be a really good, even perfect match for you. Really happy for you, Aquarius. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, um, Aquarius, this spread us for you. We have the Two of Swords, the Two of Wands, clarified by the Five of Wands. Then we have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Sun, and the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So here's the deal. You guys have a choice to make. And um, it could be like two vacation destinations. One of you wants to go to one place, the other one wants to go to another place. Right? <laughs> um, or it is maybe some kind of an other choice. What's important is that, yes, you do have uh, a couple of options, right? And you're going to be discussing them. And uh, it may even become a, a bit of a heated discussion. Heated discussion. Hopefully it doesn't escalate. Hopefully you'll just uh, keep it under under escalation, I guess. But uh, eventually one of you will win. <laughs> Right? Eventually you will go with one of the options. I don't know if it's going to be you or the person you're dealing with, but uh, there's definitely somebody winning. So right, we have the Two of Swords and the Two of Wands. Both of those two cards are talking about the same thing. Having to make a choice, looking at options. All right, the Five of Wands, clarifying the Two of Wands. Yeah, that's where that uh, heated discussion comes in. But we also have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So one of you will win. So hopefully it'll be not through yelling at each other, but through like proving a point. And at the end, we have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Sun. The Eight of Wands is a card of literally going somewhere or a card of communication. The Sun could be someplace warm. It's also a Leo major kind of card, and it's the happiest card in the deck. All right, <laughs> so don't uh, don't argue. Have a discussion, and uh, and uh, maybe you guys are gonna gonna go somewhere. Not necessarily this week. Maybe you're just gonna plan a vacation or something like that. All right, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aquarius, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be uh, the most recent. We have the King of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Ace of Swords, qualified by the Seven of Wands, and we also have the Four of cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know what this King of Pentacles did to you. It must have been something, something really bad. Because um, it's going to infuriate you. you. They are about to feel the wrath of Aquarius. And I think you're going to be mostly upset because they actually showed up. You know, it's like they had the audacity to show their face. Right? Because uh, the King of Pentacles is here, right? The very first card that came out. And the, the remaining cards are like starting a war <laughs> cards. The Five of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Wands. These are all uh, sort of aggressive cards. I'm not uh, judging you. They, 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 it must be, there must be a reason for you to behave this way. But uh, you're going to show them the door. You're going to slam the door into their face. All right? And the Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a rejection. Flat out rejection. Okay, so I think they're going to feel sorry they ever decided to uh, reach out to you. You know, Aquarius, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Uh, on, don't waste your energy. Don't waste your time. Um, just uh, let it go if you can. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, um, Aquarius, this week. We have the Queen of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, qualified by the Devil. Uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles, qualified by the Eight of Cups. And uh, we also have the Chariot. On the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, we also have Capricorn and Cancer on the table. Um, another zodiac sign, I think, had the queen, a queen, queen of Wands in their work, business, and finances. Perhaps this Queen of Wands is a recruiter recruiting a group, recruiting um, 
um, yeah, a team or something, <laughs> something like that. Because, yeah, I think they're going to come in, they're going to make you an offer, and uh, you're not going to be able to say no. Okay? I think you're taking it. You don't, you don't have to if you don't, if you don't want to, but uh, I think they will succeed in, <laughs> in luring you in. Right? So, yeah, the Queen of Wands, the first card of hand, it is the person you're going to be hearing from, you're going to be... Um, uh, perhaps even meeting with this week. So it's most likely a fire sign. There is Leo Sagittarius. If they're not a fire sign, they're just somebody who is like very enthusiastic, somebody who is like a professional, a really good headhunter, all right? Uh, a recruiter. And they're going to come in with that page of pentacles clarified by the devil. Okay, so the page of pentacles could be, hey, I've got tickets to this game. <laughs> I've got, hey, I've got this gift certificate. It's just for you. Just take it. Uh, it's, it just landed on my lap or I can't go. Just take it. You know, or they will offer you to, you know, grab a dinner, grab dinner together. And it's going to be like a really fancy restaurant. And you're going to be like, hmm, I haven't been to that place and I've heard so much about it. Yeah, why don't I check it out? So you're going to go. <laughs> And that's where uh, they will present you with an Ace of Pentacles, right? The devil clarifying the page of Pentacles was, was that uh, trap, a bit of a trap they're setting for you, it's giving you something very, uh, something you want, like a very juicy carrot, if you will, right? Um, the Ace of Pentacles, yeah, it's a golden opportunity, once in a lifetime, a lifetime opportunity. So to be fair to the Queen of Wands, yeah, they're being honest in terms of uh, the actual offer that's coming your way. They just want to get your interest uh, a, a bit of a devilish way. <laughs> but uh, the, I think the offer is legit. The offer itself is legit with the Ace of Pentacles. Right? The, the Chariot on the bottom of the deck uh, is a card of victory, success. It's also a card of literally going somewhere. It's a card of transportation. The Eight of Cups got to find the Ace of Pentacles. As you can see, the person in the Eight of Cups is walking away. I don't think you, this is you walking away from the offer. It doesn't feel this way. It can be if you want it to be, but for most of you, I think this is you taking the offer uh, and leaving your existing uh, workplace or a, a, another business partner, or maybe you're dropping a supplier or a vendor if you're on your own business and uh, signing, a, signing, signing a contract with the Queen of Wands. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Aquarius. But I think at this point you're already expecting it. <laughs> we have the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Cups clarifying it, uh, and then we have the Knight of Wands, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. In a nutshell, it's simply a repeat of the first spread, the new love spread. Because um, as soon as I saw that Knight of Wands, I already knew this was going to be um, simply a repeat of that spread. All right? So, yeah, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or maybe... Somebody who is very fiery, very passionate when it comes to you, <laughs> right? Um, they could be younger than you for some of you, right? Because it's a knight. I don't know how old you are. Um, but, uh, yeah, the knight of ones may be a younger person. Or maybe they're young at heart, all right? Um, the good news, I guess, is that we have some really good, I guess, uh, stable and solid card, if you solid cards, if you will, right? The six of pentacles is a stable card. Uh, or I consider it as a sort of a stable card. It is a card of a generosity. It is a card of an equal give and take. All right, the Two of Cups, clarifying it, as you can see, there is two people in it and they're facing each other. It's a card of when both people are on the same page, feeling the same way towards one another. The Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, it is a card of building something together, um, establishing a solid foundation. The Three of Pentacles is also a kind of collaboration. Maybe that's how you're meeting this person, right? Through a group of people or something like that. Um, or, yeah, it's simply what they want to do with you. Build. Build. Establish a, son, a foundation and build on top of it, right? The Wheel of Fortune right next to the deck, um, yeah, it's a start of a cycle, a very fortunate cycle. It's a major arcana card. It's the only major arcana card on the table, and it's a very fortunate <laughs> major arcana card. All right, um, Aquarius, so yeah, that's what I have for you for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aquarius, have an amazing week.